Volcanoes. What is a volcano? Volcanoes are openings in the Earth's crust through which molten lava, red hot rocks, steam, and fumes pour out. We usually think of a volcano as a smoking mountain that erupts explosively, but most volcanoes are simply cracks in the crust through which lava flows continuously. The more familiar kind of volcano has a single central pipe through which lava reaches the surface, building up into a cone as it cools. The cone consists of layers of lava and volcanic ash. There is usually a crater at the center. Most active volcanoes smoke and spit out occasional pieces of lava and dramatic eruptions are rare. How fast do volcanoes grow? Unlike most geological happenings, the growth of a volcano can be very rapid. In 1943, a farmer in Mexico noticed smoke coming from a crack in the ground in his cornfield. Lava began to ooze out and six days later it had piled up into a volcanic cone 150 meters high. By the end of the year, the cone had grown to 450 meters. The eruption finally stopped in 1952 when the volcano Parikitin had reached an, a height of 2,808 meters above sea level. The volcano had buried two whole villages. What is lava? Lava is a molten rock that reaches the Earth's surface. Its temperature may be as high as 1,200 degrees Celsius. Lava may be as runny as water or so thick that it scarcely moves at all. The liquid type of lava that flows Hawaiian type volcanoes runs downhill in sheets and streams, traveling very fast. Sometimes the surface of these streams cools and hardens and the liquid lava continues to flow underneath, eventually producing lava tubes when it cools. The thicker type of lava inches its way down the side of a volcano like a very slow avalanche, carrying with it anything in its path, as well as red-hot lava. What is the Ring of Fire? All around the rim of the Pacific Ocean, is a circle of places of volcanic activity known as the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is caused by shifts in the giant plates that make up the Earth's crust. The Pacific Plate is gradually disappearing under the surrounding continental plates and volcanic activity marks the points where this movement is taking place. Frequent earthquakes accompany the volcanic action in the countries surrounding the Pacific. Also, ocean trenches and underwater volcanoes form around the Ring of Fire. What happened to Pompeii and Herculaneum? Two busy Roman towns were completely buried in lava and ash by an eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79. A burning rain of ash, lava, and volcanic debris covered Pompeii to a depth of more than three meters. Nearby Herculaneum was buried under about 18 meters of ash. Many people were overcome while trying to escape the eruption. In Pompeii, cavities were found in the ash where the bodies had lain and then rotted away. The two towns preserved everyday Roman life, and they are still being excavated. What happened when Krakatoa erupted? The eruption of Krakatoa in Indonesia in 1883 was the biggest explosion in recorded history. Krakatoa was a small island between Java and Sumatra, on which there was a small cluster of volcanoes 
that were not dangerously active. On May 20, 1883, one of the cones erupted violently and three months later the whole island blew up. The explosion could be heard in Australia, 3,500 kilometers away, and a cloud of ash rose 80 kilometers into the air. For two and a half days, the island was in total darkness because of the amount of dust in the air.